Okay, so today I'll be uh, updating my trike. If you recall from my uh, Florida ride videos, I had a wheel that had a broken spoke on it, had some broken, had a broken nipple, and then I discovered a broken spoke on it. And so I'm gonna be changing out those wheels today for a couple of wheels that I bought when I was down there. Um, colors don't match quite the same, but it's gonna be fine. These have silver hubs and silver spokes, but they have black rims. It doesn't matter. These are gonna end up being, I think they're gonna end up being my spare wheels, because I'm gonna take the ones that I currently have on my eye sprint with the red nipples, the black spokes, and the black hubs. I'm gonna take those all apart, completely rebuild them, and powder coat the wheels a different color. Pretty simple tech time today, just changing out some wheels, and then I'll be rebuilding the other wheels as I go forward with my new um, park tool wheel, park tool, the wheel building stand that I just got. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and look at these wheels. They are laced differently. So now I just have to look at the spokes and see which way the spokes on my old wheels went and make sure I have the right wheel on the right side. So I'll use this wheel on the left side. So you wanna make sure that you put your disc rotors on in the way that they're supposed to go as well make sure that you use that arrow that shows the direction of rotation and put your disc rotors on the correct way. And another thing you need to make sure of is tire rotation direction. There are some tires that have little arrows on them for the direction of rotation for the tire. And in this case, I'm using Schwalbe Duranos and there's an arrow on the side for the direction of rotation. So you wanna make sure that your tires are mounted in the right direction as well. And as you can see, for the most part, you don't need tire tools to install the tire in the tube. There are some wheels that you need them and you have to stretch them over, especially if they have a wire bead in them, in the wheel itself, in the tire. But for this case, I didn't need it. And Duranos are usually pretty good about being able to slip over the rim when you're, when you're assembling them. It's when you're taking them apart that Duranos can be kind of a hassle and you need the tire levers. But other than that, it should be good to go putting them on. And then of course, reinstalling the wheel is just the reverse of taking it off. Just make sure that you have your disc lined up and then you can line up the axle and everything slides back together and you tighten it back up, air up the tire and you're ready to go. So this is also a good time to go ahead and adjust your brakes if you need to. As you know, brake pads, just like on a car, brake pads on a bike will wear and you'll have to adjust them. And this particular brake set has been rubbing a little bit for, for a while. Um, since I noticed it in Florida and I, didn't, I wasn't gonna mess with it because I was doing wheels and everything else anyway. So now I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the brakes to get them to where they're not rubbing. Okay, so that one took quite a bit of adjusting just to get it right. And it may be that the rotor is just a tiny bit out of true, but I'm not gonna worry about it. But now it's spinning fine and it's not rubbing over, it's not rubbing excessively. So I'll, I'll test it out on a ride and see what it sounds like, but I don't think it's gonna be an issue. So that's it, really just changing them out. <laughs> Make sure that when you're leaning on your bike, you take it off that little jack because then it just falls over. So uh, yeah, just now it's just gonna be um, airing up the tires, giving it a test ride and see how it works, but that should be fine. Now I'll start the rebuild of the other tires when, or the other wheels. So I've got to order some parts and then I'm gonna go ahead and start the rebuild of that with my new wheel building, wheel truing stand. I'm really looking forward to that because I've, I've always done it, the, I've always done wheel truing just on the bike or with zip ties or things like that. In fact, I made a video about it and I'll, I'll link that here to where you can see that, but uh, it, it's, it, it works, but I'm looking forward to a more precise build this time. Okay, so that's all for now. Thanks for watching and until next time, cheers.